Good morning. I was going to go through with you my eye routine. Um, it differs from day by day. Um, so I just kind of picked out what I, I go for usually. Um, so I've already applied my Glorious face and eye primer. Um, I already did my foundation, my bronzer, my blush. Um, so I applied just a smidge of the Glorious to my eyes already. Um, and then what I'm going to do is take our Deluxe eye brush and our Sexy pigment. And this is, I use this pigment every day. And this is such a great pigment for highlighting under the brow and in the inner corner of your eye. I mean, it's pretty much a good, great color for anything. So. This is one of, I think this is actually one of our top four um, best-selling pigment colors because it's just so universal. So I'm just going to apply it as a highlighter. And the great thing about loose pigments, if you've never used loose pigments before, um, just a smidge goes such a long way. And so I've had these pigments, actually these are my sample pigments that I got from my presenter's kit and I'm not even a quarter of the way through with this and I've had this for a year now and, um, and I use this one every day. So under the brow, corner eye, there we go. And what that does is um, it's going to make your eyes look a little higher and your eyes look a little open and, and brighter. Um, <clears throat> speaking of which, I'm also going to ap apply our pristine, this is our white eyeliner, um, on the waterline, on the bottom waterline. If you are feeling super drowsy and you don't want to look like you're feeling super drowsy, it just makes your eyes just, ah, oh, I'm awake. When you apply a dark color on your waterline, you actually make your eyes look um, small and closed. So if you've got small eyes already, you don't want to do that. So. Okay, so there's that. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that I'm going to do is take our Splurge Cream Shadow. Now I'm waiting for my other ones to come in. Um, I ordered them a few days ago. This one is the Elegant. This one came out in March. Um, I wear this thing every day. I am obsessed. I have tried cream shadows before and didn't like them because they got all gunky. Like by the end of the day, they were like all up in my crease and ugh. Um, nobody wants to look at that. So I got this um, just to try it out and I am in love with this stuff. So this is so awesome. Um, it's like a not not gold, but like a taupey, shimmery color, um, and then I'm gonna apply it with our cream shadow brush, and it goes on super smooth. You only need like a little bit, and I use it as like just a all over lid color. It is a wonderful base. I've even just gone out with this on my eyes because it's just so pretty, perfect for summer. And the other two colors that we have, um, there's one that is called Dainty and it's like a lavendery color and then the one that just came out on the first of this month is called Tenacious and that one's like a brownie bronze um, so I am super excited to get those in because I am sure I'm going to be just as obsessed with it as I am with this. So I just kind of put it all over. There we go. So super pretty. I don't know if you can, the camera really shows how awesome that is, but it's awesome. Um, so there's that. And I've had this for two months now since March and I've barely made a dent in it. And it's super, I don't know if you can see that, but like just super fluffy, like a little pillow of, of happiness right there. Um, okay. So there's that. Now I'm going to take our Shimmer pigment, and this is kind of a bronzy color. Um, it's called Confident. Love this color. And I'm just going to tap a little bit out into my cap. There we go. And then I'm going to take our crease brush and just kind of do the outer V of my eye. So. 
Just like that, and then bring it around down. And then come down just a little bit. There we go. Alright. Aw, what's wrong, little guy? Sorry, my little guy's watching Doc McStuffins over there. Just a little bit more. So, as you can see, just did my outer V, it makes that elegant pop out against it really well. So, there you go. Okay, and then last step is, I'm just going to fill in my brows because my brows are looking a little sparse over here. And I'm going to use our matte color and beautiful, this is also one of our loose pigments, and then I'm going to use our angled brush and just get a little bit on my brush. I'm just going to fill it in where... It's lacking over here. And then I'm going to take my brow brush and just comb them out. Okay. Fantastic. <clears throat> and then if you want to, you don't have to, but um, I take our proper smudge proof liners. These guys are awesome. Um, if you've not gotten any of our lip liners or eyeliners, um, literally once you apply them and then they dry, which they go on super smooth, um, they don't budge at all. Like I've put them on the back of my hand to show people and I can try to scrape it off and it doesn't come off. But it washes off easily with your um, regular face soap, face, facial cleaner. So I'm just following my lash line. Okay. All right. So my only step now is 3D fiber mascara. Um, that I will do in just a minute. I don't have my hair dryer out here, so I will um, do that separately. But before I let you go, I just want to show you one other thing because it is crazy cool and you need to, to know about it. Um, our lip stains, these are great. We just had seven colors come out. This one's saucy. <clears throat> now these go on like water. It's super thin and watery. And you can just keep building on top of the color if you want it a little darker. We've got several different colors. There's even like this really awesome hot pink color called skittish that I absolutely adore. So once that dries, it doesn't go anywhere for hours. So if you're at one of those jobs that you're not able to just reapply makeup, 
you know, every hour, lip gloss, whatever. Um, or if you have a husband like me who <laughs> doesn't want you coming near him at all with uh, lipstick or lip gloss because it's sticky and he doesn't like having color all over him, um, this, this stuff's great. <laughs> um, so give it a second to dry. Okay, so you ready for the awesomeness? Ready here. Nothing. Nothing. See that? How awesome that is? So um, I'll probably apply a, a couple more coats, but um, and, and if you're one of those people that don't like the feel of gloss, um, you could put the lip stain on and then just your chapstick, or you can just wear your naked lips like um, like that with the lip stain. Um, and it's great, because if, if you just want a little bit of color, but you don't want that feel of gloss or anything, um, then this stuff is definitely for you. Um, so usually I just throw on a little bit of lip gloss on top. Um, this one is my favorite, it's called Lovesick. So, other than not having my mascara done, this is me, and disregard the hair. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, um, shoot me a comment below, and uh, everybody can order everything off my website, mascaramommy.biz. Thanks, ladies.